so let's start with this, both of you. What uh, drew you to this project, and in particular, the characters that you play? So, Jackie, do you want to go first? Marguerite Oswald. Uh, first of all, I love the script, and then I met Peter Lansman, um, and I uh, we clicked immediately because he's a journalist and he's um, made documentaries, and he's one of those brave journalists. He's a terrific guy, and um, and I thought the character was fascinating, Marguerite Oswald. I didn't know much about her, um, so I said yes straight away, and. Uh, and then he gave me a lot of material. I had videos to watch to see how she spoke and looked and and behaved, and uh, and also some really good reading material. In particular, a book called A Mother in History, written by Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Jean Stafford, um, who spent three days with Marguerite Oswald, and so that much of what, uh, in fact, all of what my character says in the film is absolutely verbatim. She really did say all of those things and in very much the way that I said them. So if you thought I was exaggerating, I wasn't. She's not at all. It must have been quite an experience though to, you know, that uh, rich of a character, for lack of a better word, you know, and to sort of throw yourself into that experience playing somebody like her. I had no idea until I saw the movie really the depth of that character. I had great fun. Yeah, I had I the bet. best time. Good. Yeah. Good. Especially working with this one. I love him. He's yeah. great. <laughs> and what drew you to this project? Jackie. Jackie. I can say why. I, I, you know, I, I joke around about that, but, but right. actually that's the truth. I, I, I got the script at an early moment in time, and the one person who had signed on was Jackie, mm -hmm. and she was playing Marguerite. Mm -hmm. And um, I read the script, and there's tons of different characters, and, and I talked to Peter on the phone. And we were, he was talking about a different character. And I said, Peter, you know, the one I'm gravitating towards is Robert Oswald. And there was just silence. And he goes, I never thought about that. It's actually a really good idea. <laughs> and we started that conversation. But I, uh, there was something that I felt there was something to be said with this family. And, and, and I wanted to work with Jackie Weaver. She's, she's a killer. One of the things that I thought was so interesting, I mean, I, I, I remember vague references, like that he had a brother, but I didn't know anything about Robert Oswald. And one of the more interesting things to me about him was sort of the conflicting emotions that you so beautifully portrayed in the movie. He, he's angry, but it felt like he, had, he felt a responsibility to his family. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that a little bit, or? I, I want to be very careful here. Right. Um, Everything in, in, in the circumstance of Robert is the same as Marguerite. The, the things that he is talking about in this film, and, and Peter is, was, it was a very well written section of the script, those were his feelings and his emotions. And this man is still alive today, and I don't want to put words in his mouth. I think the work speaks for itself. I think the movie speaks for itself. Um, Robert did write a book um, based upon his own journal entries uh, after. Uh, the events in '63, and then he he asked to to to, to live his life, mm -hmm. and and I want to be respectful of that. Right. I know. I, I would imagine that there's a great responsibility that comes with playing real characters, particularly in this case, real characters that are still alive. So yeah. I think that that is um, admirable. Was there anything in particular you did to prepare for the role? <laughs> I, I uh, there was a, a shack in Austin, Texas that I isolated myself in for about two weeks of no television, no internet, mm -hmm. and a stack of books <laughs> from that, that, are, that are out of print. So um, it, it was finding the material was difficult because Peter gave me a long list and it was going out and, and I mean I was getting stuff sent to me from small bookstores in Minnesota and the, these, these, these copies where the pages were falling apart but it, they smelled great and they felt great and I, I drank a lot of coffee and I read a lot and that uh, that was my prep time. 